Hello and welcome to our Revive Ankeny Young Adult Podcast. It is so good to be here with you. We are excited about this week's topic and launching into June topics. Yes, launching into June already. I'm so excited. I'm Ashley Lentz. And I'm Zach Lilquist. Um, thanks for joining us. Uh, we don't think it's an accident that you're here, um, whether you're wherever you are, whether you're watching it on your computer, on your phone, or whatever it is. Um, if you haven't already... Uh, follow us on all of our social media stuff, Instagram, uh, Facebook. We try to post some updates on there um, and just some encouragement or anything like that. And you've probably found us on YouTube, but you can also subscribe to the playlist so that way you get notified when it when our episode drops live yes. on Fridays. So, Fridays? Revive live Fridays at 5. five. <laughs> That's a mouthful. We're going to make shirts. I love it. <laughs> and brand new this week, we have a number that you can text so that we can get to know you. Mm -hmm. uh, it is on the screen, 515-500-2292, and you can text the word REVIVE. And that will send you back uh, like a link you can click, and then you can fill out a contact card. And you can put as much or as little information on that contact card as you want. Mm -hmm. But it lets us know that you're watching, and it lets us uh, get to know you a little bit better. And we can text you updates. We can text you a daily devotion, prayer, things like that, um, if you'd like that. So go ahead and text that number if you want to get connected that way. And we'll be so excited to actually start connecting uh, a little more personally with each of you. Yeah. So I'm excited about that. Yeah. So save that number. Save it as revived. Do whatever you need to do. Yep. Now it's time for mug shots. Mug shots. Woo! Grab your mugs. I love mug shots. I think this might be my favorite part of every episode. <laughs> Okay, Zach, tell me about your mug today. All right, so my mug today, um, it says basic, and it's not because I basic. am basic, um, <laughs> even though I kind of am, uh, but this was the uh, college ministry that I attended in college at UNI um, with Orchard Hill, and I met, like, all of my best friends there, and so, so cool. it's very wholesome for me, um, but also, like, shameless plug for Kairos, if you I love it. like want to watch on Wednesdays, uh, kairos.ames on Instagram, Facebook, all that stuff. So another service that you can watch opportunity for you. So awesome. Kairos is for college students. Yes. Uh, but another really great resource for young adults in uh -huh. general. What does basic stand for something? At, when they made it or like created it, it stood for brothers and sisters in Christ. Oh, nice. Um, okay. But now they're, everyone now it's just, just knows basic. It basic. I love it. So That's it's so sweet. It's awesome. So cool. I love it. Thank you for sharing. I actually yes. really appreciate that it's Hawkeye colors, even though it was a UNI thing. Mm -hmm. What's in your mug, Ashley? <laughs> what is your mug? Mine is a Cinderella mug from Disney World. Yeah, show off the bedazzles It's there. so awesome. We've got a glass slipper, and this is her hair with, like, the tiara in it. Oh, so, I didn't even see that. I love Cinderella. <laughs> One of my best friends brought this back from Disney World for me. Uh, I had dog sat her dog when she went on vacation, and I was like... All you need to get me is a Cinderella mug. So this is the Cinderella mug from that year at Disney That's World. That's awesome. Yeah, and I love it. Cinderella is one of my favorite. I love I love all Disney princesses, but Cinderella is one of my favorites. She if always you, has been. If you had to be a Disney princess, which one would you be? Ooh, it's a really hard. I love how strong Elsa is. Like, I really love Elsa. But Cinderella had a fairy godmother, so one of those two. I think I'd be Ariel just because I have red hair. <laughs> she but. is pretty cool. She is pretty cool. I mean, they're all cool. I don't know if I could be a mermaid, though. Yeah. I don't know. I don't know. She has treasure. I, I, it's kind of yeah. cool. The other topic for another day. <laughs> Maybe we'll talk about Disney movies and I don't know, at some point. But, okay, what is our topic for today? This was Zach's idea, and it's so good. I love it. Uh, we're going to talk about shifting. Yes. Um, and shifting into different uh, realms of where we are currently. I think we're all just kind of sick of talking about coronavirus um, because it's just like kind of beating a dead horse at this point. Um, we know it's here and yep. I'm personally like Ashley and I are just tired of talking about it, listening to it. So we're still going to kind of talk about it today, but not heavily like focusing on it. Right. We're going to talk about shifting out of that mindset. Yes. We're going to talk about just how to move, not move on because it's still here and not forgetting sure. about it, but how to channel our energy elsewhere. Yes, right? absolutely. Um, and then we are 
going to talk about like how to shift our daily life too. Um, cause finding, new finding normals. a new normal because yep. June 1st is this all of a sudden like holiday of things opening back up. And what does that look like for our new daily lives in the summer and mm-hmm. our, our new normal, so to right. speak. Um, and then like I had mentioned earlier, channeling our energy, um, and kind of shifting internally. Yeah. So just shifting forward. Yeah. In a, in a awkward season and. Yeah, channeling that toward growth and something something better. Yeah. Something less sad than coronavirus. <laughs> yes. And I we, love it. We talked about shifting when we were, like, discussing, like, this idea. And, like, my first thought was, like, a shift key. Because um, I was thinking about making a graphic. And I was like, oh, shift key would be really, really cool. But then I got thinking about it. And I was like, well, when you press the shift key, like, you, you're changing the character that you're going to be typing, right? Mm-hmm. If you have an A, it comes, goes from lowercase to uppercase. Yeah. That's a total different, it's a different look. It's a change. It's a change. Yes. And especially when you have like the different characters, like a, a one becomes an exclamation point. A two becomes a at sign. A three becomes, I don't know. <laughs> Pound sign, maybe. Uh, yeah. An A becomes an asterisk, I think. <laughs> I'm going to sound like an idiot if this is not true. So <laughs> Pete's nodding. Okay, we're good. Oh, I love it. I love it. <laughs> but... That's a whole different switch, right? Totally the different yes, characters. Like, yep. Very drastic. Big change. Big change. So how do we kind of change, like, instead of staying content with where we are and comforted or... Yes, in our like, comfort zone. In our comfort or, zone. Yeah. Because that's where we're not really supposed to be. Yes. How do we transition out of that into something new? Yeah. How do we make that shift? How do we make and that change? Almost like the perfect time to do it is summertime. It's almost like New Year's resolutions round two. Yeah, where, I love that. Where like June, January first comes, and you're like, all right, time to go to the gym. Yes. And how many times have you been <laughs> to the gym, right? Oh, now yeah. summertime is, you know, it's it's nice outside. You have maybe a little bit more freedom, especially now with things opening back up. But what does that look like? Mm-hmm. So that's what right. we're gonna dive into today. Yes, I love it. So first and foremost, let's talk about shifting our lens, shifting our mindset. I think personally, I've been in a mindset of like, this stinks probably way more times a day than I would like to admit. I say, I just hate coronavirus. I hate quarantine. Like I I, I live in a very negative mindset about the world right now. And Mm -hmm. not only for the purposes of quarantine, if we could talk about things that have recently happened in the world, I just see the world as such an unjust, sad, broken place. And we know that the side of heaven is is that way. We live in a fallen right. world. But I just, like, I'm very much in a season of this all stinks, and I'm kind of in rebellion. <laughs> and I was just reading, um, I'm reading a brand new book by uh, the author Glennon Doyle, and she's amazing. Uh, but she says, rebellion is also a cage. Like, we can't find freedom in rebellion either. And so, for me, this season needs a shift in mindset. Like, I need to take those negative feelings and all that fire that's like lit in my heart about unjust things and channel it toward growth and channel it toward change um, instead of just sitting in it. Mm -hmm. And it feels yucky. Yeah. And it's hard. It's hard to grow through these things. So for me, that shift button is changing. It's probably more than a lowercase a to an uppercase a. My shift needs to be from a one sign to an exclamation point, really. Like Mm -hmm. a big shift in my mindset. And it's like you need... You, you mentioned something on the when we were talking on the phone the other day of, like, instead of being like, oh, I have to, what did you, you, you told me an example of, like, something, but then it was, uh, you know, I'm thankful that I have. Oh, yes. I have a roof over my head. And yes. And I have, what, can you share that? Because I, I really can. liked that. I was texting a friend, and she said, how are things going? And I said, oh, I hate working from home. And I said, but at the same time, I'm grateful for work and a home. And, and that's like a small mindset shift, right? It's like, I love people, so working from home is hard for me. But me on the other side of that is that I have work and I have a home. And so just being so grateful, again, shifting our lens, being so mm-hmm. grateful for those little things every day that we just kind of take for granted. And I'm super guilty of that, little things every day. Yeah. And it's hard to it's hard to find when we've just been in this for so long, like what, 11 weeks, 12 weeks, whatever it's been, yeah. it's hard to find the the joy things and the, the joyous things and the small stuff mm-hmm. because we're just kind of used to it now. And normally those aren't the things that we tend to celebrate because we live in this world where we need to celebrate the big stuff and post life updates and post all these yeah. huge things for our yes. self gratification. And that's just not healthy and right. it's not good for us either. 
And so, like, if, if we channel our energy and, like, shift our lens of celebrating those small things, and all of a sudden those things start piling up. Right. Like, and then it's, you're, then you just have a different whole look on things. We do. It's, it becomes an attitude of gratitude. Mm-hmm. And I know it sounds cliche, but it really does. Like, I noticed, I was talking, I was in a small group uh, book study, and one of the women said, you know, anytime my fiancé says a negative thing about himself, I immediately snap back with, okay, now you have to say three positive things. And I was like, oh, that sounds terrible because I know I live in such a negative mindset right now. But I did it to my dad the other day. He was like, oh, I'm dumb. And I was like, you are not dumb. Now you have to say three positive things. And he just like looked at me like, no way, Jose, am I doing that? But it's, it is. It becomes an attitude of gratitude mm-hmm. when you can shift that lens and shift your mindset. I think on that note, let's talk about shifting new normal um, again, yeah. I've been in rebellion about this. Like, I don't like coronavirus. I don't like how this is going. This will not become a normal for me. Like, mm-hmm. like I was very much like, I'm not going to find normal in this time because I just was in rebellion against it. So mm-hmm. what does it look like moving into the summer? Things are going to start to open back up. But what does it look like to find and be okay with a new normal and be safe in that new normal? I think that that was going to be my first point. was just whatever you do that needs to feel Oh my gosh. Whatever you do that oh, I can't talk. Do what you need to do to stay safe for yourself, right? Yes. Like you know you the best. Well, Jesus knows you probably the best, but you know your life and your routine the right. best of anyone. Yep. And I think it pays to just stay true to that. Like mm. just because like things are going to be open at half capacity doesn't mean that you have to go. Right. Like Absolutely. I, personally, I'm not going to go to a restaurant anytime soon. I will gladly take out, like we ordered takeout last night for my grandpa's birthday and it was awesome. I love it. Like, and, but it's also cool to like get different foods set at my table, be with my family in a quieter yeah. space. Like I, finding the good things in you're, that, right? You're enjoying a new normal. Right. And I, I really like that. Yes. And I think it, like, I, I'm just don't want people to think, oh, I just have to, and it doesn't pay to bicker about it either. Right. Like, Absolutely. I had to delete Facebook off of my phone the other day just because I could not handle it anymore. Mm. Like, there's always going to be the naysayers and the negativity, and I said, nope, done. Yep. I had enough. Yep. It took 10 weeks. <laughs> it took 10 weeks to be tired of it. But I had, yeah. I had been tired of it. Absolutely. And, like, finding whatever you need to do to keep yourself safe and wear your mask out in public. Right. Do Stay true to you. Order, delivery, yes. take out. Like, yes, yes. Find find your new normal. Right. Like that's gonna look your new normal is gonna look different than my new normal, and that's fine. Absolutely. Absolutely. And being brave for whatever brave means to you, I think. So mm-hmm. if bravery to you is like you need you do need to go sit at a restaurant for whatever reason, feel confident in that and be safe while you do it. If brave to you is sitting at home and not going out because that feels safe, then feel confident about that. And like you said, don't let um, I think it's important to not let the world tell us what to do moving into the summer, Mm -hmm. you make those decisions. Uh, You know where your heart is. And being confident in the decisions that that you make, that those decisions are best for yourself. And when we get into those uncomfortable situations in life, and not just, like, out in public, but just life in general, that's where the growth happens. Like, so many of us have been cooped up for a long time, Mm -hmm. and we've kind of retreated maybe back into bad habits or, you know, bad thoughts or bad decisions. And finding this is a great opportunity to step outside of that zone a little bit even just a step like even just like you're dipping your toe in the water like try to get used to it and then that's where some growth can can actually happen absolutely i love that so to finish up we're running out of time we have our timekeeper and he's giving me like the two minute mark so i think the last really quick piece to talk about is shifting like internally shifting Mm -hmm. and and part of that is mindset part of that's new normal so it's all of these things kind of combine but how do we make internal shifts that are going to propel us forward into growth and this actually sets our groundwork for our june series which we are so excited about um so you have to tune in because i can't get to all of it in two minutes but really internally we're talking about growth like Mm -hmm. zach said stepping out of a comfort zone and we're not saying like yeah go out in public and do things that make you uncomfortable but personal things that make you a little bit uncomfortable like Uh right now it is uncomfortable for me to work out because I don't feel good about working out because I haven't done it in 10 weeks right um so (laughs) that would make me uncomfortable so I should step out and do it um and growing in that 
growing forward, shifting our mindset, shifting our lens, and propelling ourselves forward into health, personal health, whatever mm-hmm. that means, spiritual, emotional, physical, relational, all these kind of things that are healthy that are going to help us grow. Yeah. And it, you know, it's a way for us to take care of ourselves. And that's kind of been one of my trigger statements lately. It's like, oh, take care of yourself. Like, <laughs> like it honestly yeah. is. But, like, that's kind of what we're aiming for here is, like, for June, we're going to talk about, like, how can we really take care of ourselves and all those in all those ways that you said, yep. especially in a time when maybe we really haven't been taking care of ourselves yes. to, to the best of our ability. Right. And, like, I think it's it's good for us to kind of sh- internally shift, which when we internally shift, then our externals will also shift to, like, mm-hmm. our decisions, Absolutely. our mindset. Our, that'll help us move forward. Yep. Because time's still going to go. And yeah. whether you want to sit where you are and stay angry and negative, that's you do you. But it's not what God wants you to do, I don't think. Mm-hmm. Like, he wants, you always, to, yeah. he wants you to keep searching for him in, the, in wherever we are currently. Absolutely. And, like, he hasn't gone away. <laughs> Absolutely. And to that point, I think, you know, Jesus never just, like, sat and did nothing. Mm-hmm. Ever. Never. <laughs> like, he prayed. He did take time away to, like, rejuvenate himself, which we'll talk about spiritual health. Um but he never just like sat on the couch and watched Netflix. Not saying that that's a bad thing. Sometimes that is a good self care thing. Um, but I just think we are meant to do. We are human beings, but we have been called to do, and that do is to love others yes. and love God. And so, how can the best way we can do that is to take care of ourselves first, and then channel all of our energy into that calling. Like what things are that are actually going to give yourself life and other people life like breathing into them and not just the non-life giving things yeah i think that's where a lot of us have spent a lot of our time yeah i'm I'm totally guilty of it like Mm -hmm. i will be the first one to raise my hand agreed and i know i need to make a change because i can feel it now yeah like it's to a point where it's not comfortable anymore it just feels like kind of icky and gross (laughs) like and it needs to we need to we need to keep going yes we need to launch forward we need to shift big shift little shift, shift shift and and move forward. I love it. So your challenge for the week is dun dun dun. To f- just honestly find where things need to shift or where things maybe have shifted, mm-hmm. and identifying it first and calling it out and pointing a finger at it. That's a great first step. Yes. And if that's all you do, awesome. Yep, absolutely. Like we're not gonna sit here and tell you to make your 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 budget plan, your game plan for shifting in the next eight months because that's just not realistic. Right. Like day by day, step by step, but identifying what needs to shift. Absolutely. And just do one, like yep. to start. And just recognizing it is yes. the first step in that. Is saying yes. like, you know what, this is an area in my life that I feel like needs growth. Mm-hmm. It needs a big shift. And once you can recognize it, then you can grow through it. And that so. could, like it could be something that's inside of you telling you something. It could be something in your daily schedule. It could be yep. like a, an outlook, a habit. I don't know. Like Right, absolutely. <laughs> like it find so it, many things. call it out. Absolutely. And then go on from there. Yes. And as usual, get connected. So remember we you can text uh, 500 Two two nine two. I just did that from memory. Heck yeah. Uh, <laughs> um, text that number, revive to that number, and we can get connected that way. But we also have connection opportunities. Mm-hmm. The first one is the Jesus Study. That starts next week, I think. Yeah, June 2. Uh, you can sign up for that on our website, which will be in the comments. Then we have group launch, which will happen mid-June. And um, that is just a way to form life groups. A really op- awesome opportunity to get connected with other people. And last but not least, within the next couple days, you can tell me if you would like to volunteer with Habitat for Humanity. Hope is sending a team to, I think, build, um, help build a house on June 13th. That's a Saturday. Uh, and if you want to be part of that team, please email me. That email will be in uh, the comments as well. It's ashley.lentz at hopeankeny.org, and I can put you on that team. So that's a fun way. If you're looking for a way to get out and get moving, Mm -hmm. that would be a really fun way to get connected as well. Yeah. So those are our connection opportunities and your challenge. That is all we have for you. We are out of time, but we are so excited about our June study. So please tune in um, to all of June. We'll we'll talk about health, uh, practical. Oh, we have guest speakers too. We do have guests. Yes. That's yeah. What I was so say. you're probably tired of me and Zach, maybe. <laughs> um, so we're bringing you amazing guest speakers who are going, who are kind of experts in their field of healthy things. Um, so we'll have lots of voices speaking mm-hmm. into how to grow in healthy ways. So yep. thank you for joining us. Tune in next week at five on Friday. Woo! We'll we will see you then. See you then.